sure know. Are you the one to know? Y'all better get together, brother. At times, the number of picketers approached 100 most of them friends of Norman Rutledge, and most of them upset that he was shot and killed while completely unarmed, and upset that the store in which he was killed was open less than 24 hours after his death. And open the store the next morning like ain't nothing never happened. Right. And if the man had any respect whatsoever, he would have never opened that store. Yes. Right. If you want to protect yourself, you shoot somebody in the leg. Right. As close as he was on that man, you could have shot him in the arm. The authorities were on their way to investigate this call. There was absolutely no need for this man to shoot him. The demonstrators wanted the liquor store and another store owned by the man who shot Rutledge closed. It was, but the charge of murder lodged against Larry Butnick was reduced this evening in municipal court to involuntary manslaughter, and Butnick was released on a $1,000 bond. Of course, it will be several weeks before the case is actually heard, and the protesters say they plan to use those weeks to increase the pressure aimed at closing both stores and to ensure that at least the involuntary manslaughter charge sticks when it comes to trial in Superior Court. From the Atlanta Police Department, Ron Saylor, Action News.